Hello, Assalamu Alaikum everyone. Uh, today we will learn how to spread uh, plural fluid. So first of all, let's see the equipments to do it. Uh, first of all, we need a uh, 50cc syringe, one time plastic syringe, then a 20 coarse pinocone needle, a sterile hand gloves, antiseptic solution, that is povidone iodine, micropole, some gauze pieces, and then cotton. Our first step should be uh, the counseling of the patient and taking informed written consent. Okay, Patient should be informed about the indication and about the complication of the procedure. And an x-ray should be done for identifying the pathology and the site. We have done an x-ray and this x-ray is uh, showing plural effusion involving the lower zone of left lung. So we are sure about the pathology. After that, we have done an uh, ultrasonogram of lower chest to identify the site. And here is the site with marking. Let's see the position of the patient. So patient should be in sitting position with arms supported on a table then uh, it will help to expose the axilla. And let's see the site. In most of the cases, we do plural aspiration in triangle of safety. This is this triangle. This triangle apex is within the axilla and anteriorly it is bounded by lateral border of pectoralis major muscle and posteriorly it is bounded by lateral border of latissimus dorsi and base is formed by the uh, imaginary line passing through the fifth intercostal space that is on the level of the nipple. Before doing the procedure, uh, we should ask the patient about uh, if uh, he has uh, any clotting disorder or he is using any anticoagulant drugs. If he is using any anticoagulant drug, the procedure should be postponed until uh, the INR less than 1.5. The procedure should be uh, done with uh, for maintaining proper asepsis. So uh, we are using a sterile gloves here. And then next step will be uh, maintaining the asepsis and cleaning the areas. Before uh, doing the procedure, we'll uh, just clean the large area and we'll do it uh, from central to periphery. Before cleaning, we should uh, maintain this marking with this cap. So we are deepening this marking with this cap so, so that it cannot be wiped out. Now we are uh, cleaning the area with an antiseptic solution and it started from the central and uh, to the periphery. Should not come in the central again. So let's uh, dry it spontaneously then we will wash it again. So this area already dried out, so we'll do the procedure again. Now we should palpate the intercostal space to find out the upper border of the lower ribs. After finding out the upper border, we should introduce the needle just above the upper border of lower ribs. So let's introduce the needle. If you feel resistance, you should withdraw the needle. That means it is approaching the bone. While there is no resistance and or there is less resistance, then we will draw the piston. So when there is no resistance, we will just draw the piston and see if the fluid is coming. If the fluid is coming, then we will maintain this negative pressure and maintaining negative pressure, we will just draw the fluid. For therapeutic purposes, we can draw a huge amount of fluid and for diagnostic purposes, we can draw about 20 to 50 ml of fluid. So we have obtained about uh, 20 cc of uh, plural fluid. Then before uh, just removing the needle, we'll ask the patient
to take a deep breath baba lomba ekta shwas nen bhore rakhen and apply pressure around the needle by maintaining negative pressure we will just suddenly remove the needle after removing the needle we will just apply local bandage here so we have completed the aspiration of pleural fluid now follow up we can do another x-ray just to uh, identify just to confirm the pleural effusion if the pathology is remaining or it has resolved so for follow up we can do another x-ray